soon. Yeah. Uh, welcome everyone. Bienvenidos. We're going to hear some today. We get some great information from um, one of our partners, which is our Los Angeles City College. So I, it's going to be my honor to um, to introduce a representative from um, LACC. Um, entonces, ahora lo que vamos a hacer es, es va a ser mi honor de presentar a nuestra representante para el, el colegio, Los Angeles City College, y nos va a dar información sobre algunos cursos que nosotros pueden asistir. Um, con eso, le quiero dar la bienvenida a la señora Nelines Colón Palendini. And I'd like to introduce our LACC representative, Ms. Palendini, Nelines Colón Palendini. Muy buenas tardes. Buenas tardes. Uh, Good afternoon. It's, it's an, an honor to be here. Uh, thank you for having me. Um, this is a very exciting opportunity. My name is uh, Nelines Colón Paladini. I am a program coordinator for the adult program at Los Angeles City College. And so we want to welcome you. I see some people are still joining us. I'm very excited to be here. Uh, buenas tardes. Uh, es un honor para mí estar con ustedes el, la tarde de hoy. Gracias por, por la invitación. Uh, voy a compartir en unos momentos previos mi, mi screen para empezar la presentación. So, I'm just going to be sharing the screen so we can start our presentation. Today, we're going to uh, be talking about uh, programs that we have at LA City College, in particular, this, in particularly this program that we're having at your school, actually, virtually with Michelle Torina and our Spanish instructor, and in where we are going to be delivering the Spanish class for the parents and also Spanish classes for uh, your kids. Uh, we're also going to present other opportunities and programs that we had at we have at, at LACC. So this is very exciting. I don't know if, if you can see a show of hand how many people know where LACC is. We're very close to your uh, school, yes, and some of you probably participated or already are students at City College. Um, let me go ahead and share my screen. Like hoping, making sure that I have the correct screen. All right, here we go. Are we okay? Can everybody see it? Yes, thank you. Yes, we can see you. Fantastic. All right, so bienvenidos. We are going to be uh, uh, discussing about um, establishing a Spanish class for your students, for your uh, school population. So vamos a hablar un poquito en español. Bienvenidos. a uh, Padres y estudiantes de nuestra escuela, hermosa escuela elemental, Michel Torina Street Elementary. Um, I'm sure for my hands, uh, thumbs up, most of you understood what I just said, because it was pretty much like Spanglish. So our LA City College, which is down the street from your school, has been uh, in City College for over 90 years. Uh, we used to be formerly UCLA, and then it was the campus for Cal State LA. I'm giving you a little bit of our history. Um, currently, is uh, hosting all our services and classes uh, online. Since COVID, obviously, most of, most, most of our program, except some classes in, in the biology sciences and computers, stay on campus, but then we move all remotely to online. So all our courses, plus new courses, were put into an, an LMS, which is our management system for our instruction, where we um, offer every single class continue mornings, evening, afternoons, weekends. And one of the courses that we have that is brand new is a Spanish class. Um, I know Delia from her previous school, we've been working into bringing classes to the parents and their kids. And we always talked about having Spanish. And right before the pandemic hit, we, we had this, the curriculum was about to be uh, revised and approved. So here we go, we have it, and you are gonna be the first school that we are gonna have classes for parents and kids together. So I'm very excited about this opportunity. Um, so LACC, a non credit adult classes, we have an open program, uh, or our classes are completely free. They are part of a grant, it's an adult education grant. The textbooks and the materials for, all our class, for the classes are free. The classes are open to all. Obviously, we're going to have a cohort for the parents that are here, but if this is space in the class, these classes are open to the public. Um, anyone can take our courses, uh, parents, adults, uh, their kids, uh, K-12 kids, and students can enroll in credit and non-credit courses. And what I mean non-credit is the non-credit program, 
that's why the courses are free. But sometimes students are taking credit courses and they can be in both uh, programs at the same time. Um, Nini, Nini, yes. ¿puedes repetir en español? Sí. <laughs> 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 Un poquito de la historia del ACC. Llevamos en Los Ángeles City College. Voy a dar hacia atrás a nuestra presentación. Estamos en el ACC desde el a uh, más de 90 años, uh, éramos UCLA, el campus de UCLA, y después fuimos Cal State LA. Estamos celebrando nuestro 90 aniversario. Desde que empezamos con uh, la transición de, de, por COVID, uh, no, todas nuestras clases y nuestros programas se movieron virtualmente y todas nuestras clases continúan online. Um, nuestros programas son completamente gratis. La información que les estoy dando de nuestros programas es el programa de adultos donde las clases no tienen costo, los libros, el material y la registración, todo es gratis. Tienen acceso a consejería para, para los estudiantes. Um, nosotros en el colegio les hablé un poquito sobre mi relación con Delia. Nos conocimos cuando en su escuela anterior y estuvimos hablando de cómo tener clases con los niños, con los padres. Simultáneamente hablamos de cómo tener programas que se dieran en español y este año es Afortunadamente, uh, hemos tenido la, la, la dicha de poder tener estos programas y traerlos a su escuela. So, espero que todos puedan tomar ventaja de estas clases. Um, so, I caught up really fast with my Spanish. So, uh, so if I, this, I do speak Spanish very fast. So, my apologies and I can repeat. And if you have questions, I, I make sure that I stay here after. It's my Puerto Rican. You know, we just kind of talk super, super fast. Um, this is just a, a the copy, the, the, for, the face of our uh, page, web page at City College. So we, you will have access to go to our web page uh, to find more information about our program and our, our services and different program areas. Um, also the copy of our schedule and the hours with the remote hours. We are open until six o'clock. We are also open on Saturdays, open meaning virtually open. So, esta es nuestra cara de nuestra uh, página y donde tenemos la información de nuestro programa. Pueden visitarnos para que puedan descubrir más información de la que les estoy presentando hoy. Um, enrollment registration. This is like uh, you know, the, the question number one, how we get the students registered. Um, our uh, offices are open. We have a Zoom uh, office in where you'll uh, click on our link that is posted on our website and you'll have someone virtually opening, completing the application, the, the college application. It's a two-step process. You receive a student ID and you register and um, the hours are here. They're nine to five, Monday, Wednesdays. Today we're open until six, Fridays until 4 p.m. and nine, nine to one on Saturdays. So, aquí le estamos dando un poquito sobre información sobre nuestras clases. Sobre nuestras clases que tenemos y el horario, uh, y acceso a una oficina virtual donde los estudiantes pueden um, requer requerir información con nuestra oficina virtual diariamente de lunes a sábados. Cuando entran para la registración, uh, sale el, la página de nuestro Chancellor's Office de nuestro California Community Colleges y en esta página es donde se llena la aplicación. I'm just giving you a preview of what the screen is going to look like when you um, go into our college website to complete the application for registration on your own. We, in our office, will be able to assist you through their Zoom virtual office or by phone, but you can also go right now directly to our website and click on the college application and complete the college application, just have to make sure that you click in the non-credit application. The non-credit application is a shorter application uh, because the classes have no cost. And uh, though, although for students that are taking credit courses, they already have a student ID number, they can use the same uh, ID number that uh, they've used in the past. So, les estoy dando un preview, uh, una, la apariencia de cómo se ve la página de nosotros De, de su registración cuando entran a, a, al el enlace de registración del ACC va a salir a aparecer la página de los community colleges de nuestro distrito donde la persona escogería el enlace para entrar su aplicación 
específicamente del programa de non-credit. And there is a difference. Uh, the college application for a regular student is a very long, uh, lengthy application. It has a lot more information um, and more specifics than the non-credit application. All right. How are we doing? <laughs> Good. Good. Here we go. Admissions application, K-8 or K-12 enrollment course registration steps. For our kids, uh, the application process is going to be a little bit lengthy. We need to do the college application, plus we need to complete a K-12 form, which is uh, the form that will approve. Um, it will be signed by the parent or guardian and by your um, college counselor, a school counselor, or your principal or vice principal and a letter from the principal or vice principal or counselor that is going to uh, authorize the student, the young child, to take classes at a community college. Uh, these documents have to be for every class that they take as, until they're adults. So every time a kid or a young adult takes a course under 18, they will need a counselor and a parent's K-12 form and, and the admissions process. So for the kids, we have a little extra step and we like to have it some orientation with the kids because this information is in the school records. So when they do move on to college, they will have in the records that they took a Spanish class in college while they were going to elementary school, which is great. Uh, our courses are a pass, no pass, uh, uh, or satisfactory. So pretty much we tell our the students, everybody, has a satisfactory progress, and if they turn in their work, they get it passed in the class. Uh, we make sure that students uh, that are not completing or attending the class uh, drop the class so that they do not get a no pass. Um, and the reason why we are giving um, an outcome to for our courses is because for some uh, students, they do want to show that they are attending and passing a class. So I'm going to briefly say that in Spanish. Um, es, la aplicación para los niños es un poquito más larga. El, el contenido de la aplicación necesita aprobar, ser aprobada por el, pre, por el principal o el viceprincipal de la escuela y también necesita una carta del viceprincipal o el consejero de la escuela autorizando que el niño puede tomar estas clases en un colegio, en una universidad. Uh, so, Como para los padres, no solo necesitamos una aplicación, para los niños necesitamos una aplicación más dos aprobaciones. Esto, estas clases quedan en el récord de sus niños. También hacemos una previa orientación para que ellos uh, se les informe que estas clases van a aparecer en, su, en sus uh, cartas de, de escuela, en sus récords de las escuelas, que ellos tomaron una clase mientras estaban en una escuela elemental. Y estos documentos, cada vez que un niño vuelva a tomar una clase, siempre el principal de sus escuelas necesita autorizar. All right. Um, this is the contact information. And, okay, here we go. Um, if you want to uh, take a, a picture of it or write it down, um, their phone, phone contacts for the office if you just want to do the application by phone. The application for the kids obviously is more, it's more lengthy, so you probably want to do the zoom in. And obviously, there are different languages uh, that we speak in our office. So we have parents from from different countries. If you're more comfortable with speaking with someone in Korean, Armenian, or Russian, uh, they are direct uh, numbers that they can call. Some of these numbers are Google numbers, so you leave a message, and and in some cases, they'll call you back. So this is the contact uh, information for our uh, assistant by phone. All these is also on our website, and I will share that as well. Actually, the website is in every one of the slides on the bottom. Okay, aquí están los números de teléfonos para las personas que quieran hacer una llamada para hacer, si tienen más preguntas o para hacer su registración por teléfono si no quieren hacerla virtualmente. Okay. Ah, ¿Qué más ofrecemos en el ACC? Uh, también ofrecemos uh, ayuda a los estudiantes con consejería, ayudas con tutoría, ayudas con el Career Center. Para las personas que estén buscando tal vez un trabajo y son estudiantes con nosotros, tenemos un, un Career Center. Tenemos uh, ayudas para, para alimentos, tenemos una beca para una computadora con opción de compra, tenemos una librería que es completamente virtual. Um, this is just talking a little bit about our support services. Obviously, as a student in a community college, you have access to all the services 
This is just to mention some, but we have online advice, adv advising, career advising. Um, we have uh, do a core performance follow-up just to make sure students are attaining the, their goals. Uh, we have online tutoring, career, a career center. We have um, job affairs on our campus. Now we have everything virtual, but we connect our students to the jobs specifically in the area where we live, uh, food scholarships, um, computer scholarships. We're currently awarding students computers, uh, students that need to uh, attain a computer so they can attend college with an option to, to purchase them for a very low payment plan. And we also have an online library. This is just some of the support services. Obviously, there's a lot more. I cannot put it in one slide, but you'll have access to this. And, um, excuse me. This is just a little flyer that just mentions and talks to us, uh, to you all about our courses that we have at City College from ESL, GED, IHSS, vocational training, computer courses in Excel, PowerPoint, internet, office skills, entrepreneurship uh, training that we have uh, specifically starting this, this semester, and a conversation class. And um, este es un um, boletín donde explica y habla un poco de nuestra, algunas de nuestras clases que tenemos en el ACC y el horario y los teléfonos que acabamos de también ver en las otras presentaciones. So I'm just quickly going to show, this is our flyer for our yay, finally, Spanish class at Vichelterina, our instructor. He, we, he was not able to join us today. We had an opportunity to talk to him this morning. We're very excited. The class is already set uh, to start next Saturday. So we just, uh, you know, hoping that you can all join tomorrow uh, by Zoom or by phone to get you uh, registered in the class. Um, uh, the class is... It's actually a class that can be contextualized when you meet the instructor, he'll talk and do a class evaluation and talk about, you know, the areas in the class that he's going to be focusing in. But this was curriculum written for um, students to learn about customer um, communication, conversation with employers, um, whose primary language is Spanish, obviously, um, a little bit of grammar and mostly conversation. So, Um, esta es la clase que hemos asignado para su escuela, que es, va a comenzar el sábado próximo, que ya pueden registrarse en las clases, van a estar, um, tenemos un profesor Juan que, uh, Álvarez, que está diseñando una clase especial para el, los, la necesidad um, que los estudiantes que, que vayan a estar en esa clase a diseñarla especialmente para esta clase, para ustedes. <clears throat> Aside from that one Spanish class, we have many other cl Spanish classes. Actually, Juan is currently te teaching a class. So some students can take more than one class. Uh, we'll have the Saturday class just specifically cohort for Michel Torina. But students that are interested in taking multiple Spanish classes, you're welcome to enroll. Um, we have classes in the evenings. Um, Mondays and Wednesdays, on the mornings, on Thursday afternoons, and the Saturday class. This is the one that we have um, set aside for Michelle Turina students, but please be free to, uh, you're welcome to register in the other class that Juan is also um, offering. So, tenemos más de una clase de, yes, de, de español. Estudiantes muchas veces quieren tomar más de una sección. Si sí se pueden repetir estas clases, Uh, some repeatable. There are repeatable classes, I forgot to mention, so you can take these classes again and again. Um, so, estas clases se pueden tomar más de una vez. La del sábado está diseñada para ustedes, para la Escuela de Michel Turina, pero los estudiantes tienen la oportunidad de tomar cualquiera de las otras clases que tenemos. Tenemos otros entrenamientos en español, computadoras en español y cómo usar el internet en español. Um, I wanted to bring this up specifically because we are having a Spanish class and if, if a student in particular wants to learn something else other than conversation in Spanish, maybe you want to learn how to use the internet in Spanish. You want to dig into it, learning a little bit more, uh, some other stuff in Spanish. So we do have a Spanish uh, computer class and we also have how to use the internet class in Spanish. So you uh, also will have access to register into any of these classes. Hi. 
Just briefly going over, we have a citizenship program. Tenemos un programa de ciudadanía, interested in becoming a citizen. We'll have a program that helps you apply and also help you get ready for your interview with USCIS. Este es nuestro programa de ciudadanía para los que estén interesados en hacerse ciudadanos y aplicar para la entrevista. Nosotros le ayudamos a completar el papeleo y eh, prepararse para la in entrevista con inmigración. Uh, we also have another very popular GED program. Uh, those that are interested in obtaining their GED, LACC offers GED classes are also free and we give a scholarship for students to uh, pay for their GED test. Este es un programa también muy popular que tenemos en el ACC, en el programa de non-credit, donde pueden tomar uh, clases para conseguir su equivalencia de high school o el GED, lo que llamamos el GED Certificate. El programa de in-home support service, pues um, mention one of the few programs that we have that are also very popular. This program is for um, home care. This program is 106 hours. They receive a certificate of a uh, skill certificate, and this is for home care providers. Este programa es completamente gratis también, y es un programa para servicios y proveedores de cuidado en, en el hogar. Just sharing our web, our um, Instagram and Facebook. We, place, we put a lot of videos on Facebook and on Instagram from our instructors and classes and changes on schedules and any opportunities on our campus. So if you want to visit our Facebook and our Instagram, um, and you're and just posting them here, when you open the Facebook, it's just going to have this Discover LACC Adult Education Program. So please feel free to join and share nuestra página de Instagram y nuestra página de Facebook. This is my contact information. Very important. <laughs> Muy importante. Mi, mi información, mi contacto. Eh, mi teléfono está aquí. Este es mi teléfono celular y mi correo electrónico. Si le gustaría hablar conmigo más sobre el programa antes de hacer su registración, por favor puede comunicarse. Mi nombre es Nelly Ness. Y um, cómo podemos ayudar uh, nosotros a ustedes y, no, y ustedes al resto de la comunidad y a sus compañeros es promoviendo estos programas, ayudándonos y asistiendo si necesitamos ayuda con la clase, uh, comunicándonos con nuestros coordinadores, con nuestro, uh, con Delia, con, con Nicole, para, para darnos un, un, un update, para saber cómo estamos en las clases, obviamente comunicándonos con nuestros coordinadores de LACC. So I'm here just sharing my uh, contact information, my email, and my telephone number, and just to ask you to, for these classes to be successful and for these programs to be successful, to keep, to promote them, to keep the communication and encourage your classmates, your students, or your friends um, to participate in the class, uh, to uh, check up on each other, and also always to communicate with, with your coordinators or principal, vice principal, with myself, uh, and to see how we can, um, improve the classes or how we can get these classes out to everyone else in the community. So just kind of like a little feedback and I always ask, uh, what can we do to, to help to make sure that these classes are successful? Um, Nelly, so uh -huh. I'm going to go ahead and um, I do have a, um, a poll. I'm going to stop recording so I can a ask a poll, Perfect. a question for everybody. And, and then we can also ask and give everybody an opportunity.